Hello everyone, I am Miss Smith. Today we will be talking about the important things you need to know about the CSEC Geography SBA. But before we get to that, please like and subscribe to the REACH Educational Services channel. Okay, let's get started. When talking about the Geography SBA, we have to remember that Geography is a hands-on subject. This means we have to do research, which includes a field study. The SBA is 40 marks or 20% of your grade. Therefore, we have to do well on this part as well as the actual exams. You will choose from physical or human geography for your SBA topics. Physical meaning having to do with the natural aspects of the earth and human dealing with how human beings interact with the earth. For the field study aspect, students will go on site and do an active research. Please ensure you have adult supervision. Students will gather information using photographs, questionnaires, experiments, and other techniques. So guys, you and a responsible adult will go out into the field and gather information on your topic. For example, if you are choosing a topic related to wave actions along the coast, you would go to a beach that shows the features and activities to be studied and do the various tests and observations of the study area. The information found would have to be accurately recorded in the form of notes, videos, and pictures. If you are doing a more human-based topic, you would perhaps use methods such as the use of questionnaires. Here, you would have to create an instrument with applicable questions and hand them out to an applicable and sizable research group. For example, if your topic is relating to how fishing helps a specific community, giving questionnaires to fisher folk and community members could help you gather the needed information. Some topics, matter of fact, most topics, will need multiple forms of research. Also, secondary sources such as books and the internet should also be used. It is recommended that more than one method of collecting data be used for your SBA. Now that we know how we're going to get this information, let's talk about the layout of the SBA and what each area includes. Firstly, our table of contents. Yes, table of contents. This should be included in the SBA though it is only one mark. In this section, please include page numbers as well as what content will be on these specific pages. Next, your introduction. This is worth two marks. It will tell a general overview of the reason for undertaking the study area. This means you will explain the reason for doing the SBA and the reasons for choosing the topic. The aim of study. This is worth two marks of the 40 marks. Now, for this aspect, you will make a statement explaining what the SBA should be shedding light on. An example of this would be to identify and describe the information of coastal landforms found along Treasure Beach, St. Elizabeth. The aim should have the area in which the study is being focused as well as what is being focused on or studied. Next, we have location of study. 
this aspect is worth four of the 40 marks. This is where you will need to state and describe the location where the study of the SBA is focused. For example, Treasure Beach, St. Elizabeth. It is also very important to have diagrams, maps, and so on showing the study area. One map should show where the area is in relation to the entire country and one map should show an up-close illustration of the area. Maps should include landmarks and roads. Also, the essential parts of a map should be on our maps. The essential parts including our key, compass, scale, title, and our border. Next, we have our methodology. This is worth four marks. The methodology will include a detailed explanation of how research was undertaken. The methodology should include dates and times of when specific things were done. For example, if the site was visited and photographs done on a specific day, the methodology should include this information. Next, presentation of data. This is a part of the SBA where you will show the information that was being gathered this entire time. Right. This information will be shown in the form of charts, photographs, and maps. Graphs, photographs, and other items should be correctly labeled so that the reader knows what is being shown. For example, the label should sound something like figure 1.1, map showing Treasure Beach, St. Elizabeth. This area is worth four marks. Next, analysis and discussion of data. This is 10 marks. Yes, a very large amount of marks for this one. So listen closely. This requires you to think critically. You must now explain what all of the information gathered and presented before means or implies. The information should be supported by evidence as well. Yes, yes, quite a bit of work here. Next, or conclusion. This is worth four marks. And in this section, you will bring a close to the project. Here, you will come to a summary of what findings you have made. You will connect the aim of study to the information you have found. Next, a bibliography. This should give credit to the source from which you have gathered your information, more so your secondary information. This should be put in alphabetic order with the author, title, publisher, publishing place, and date of this literature work. This section is worth one mark, but an important mark. Otherwise, your work can be considered plagiarized. Important things to note. Despite knowing all of those aspects of the SBA, we have other aspects that are going to gain you marks. Let's go. The quality of data for one. This is worth four marks. This will grade how accurate, appropriate, and relevant the data you have gathered is. Integration of illustrations. This will tell you how the charts, diagrams, and photographs are put into the SBA. These items must be properly labeled, relevant, and correctly placed. This aspect is worth two marks. Communication of information. This is worth four marks and will check the use of correct geographical terms and correct use of grammar and structuring of your sentences. Mm -hmm. English class all over again. You see how all subjects are important? Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me.
Please remember to like and subscribe to Reach Educational Services. See you later.